Now it's extremely rare to see big name companies jump into the launcher scene for Android and it seems that Microsoft is trying to do just that. This is their new launcher and albeit that it's in beta and it has a lot of potential, I really like it and as someone who's only used the Google Now launcher, it's telling you something. So let's run through the Microsoft Aero launcher. This is Aero, the launcher for Microsoft. So glory shots aside, this is what we get. And keep in mind that I said that this is a beta, so there are a lot of improvements that can and I'm sure will be made, but I'm excited to see where this goes. The UI is very clean. There are a lot of transparent elements, which sort of remind me of iOS and where I'm sure some of the ideas were borrowed from. Your main home screen consists of your recent applications and frequent apps, which shuffle every now and again so there is really no customizing it. The dock seems to be the only thing that can be organized as you like it, and swiping up from the dock grants you access to more icons. You can place icons of your choice here and rearrange them as you see fit. You also see your recent or missed phone calls as well as your launcher settings, feedback, and wallpaper. Now the preset wallpapers that come with this launcher are nice but have to be downloaded one by one and while that doesn't take a long time it's something that should automatically be included with the APK. You also have the option to enable the daily wallpaper from Bing and also set your own custom wallpaper. If you scroll to the right of your main home screen you have notes and reminders. Nothing fancy here as it houses what it says, just notes and reminders. And to see a unified smart home screen of all this would be pretty legit in either Google Now or Cortana integration. To the far left you get people which shows your most frequent contacts as well as your recent ones. They really love the word recent I swear. The two icons at the top gain you access to your phone app, one opens the dialer and the other opens your contacts. Now onto one of my most favorite additions to this launcher, the app drawer. This part actually surprised me because on the Windows phone I hated the vertical app drawer. I mean hated it. But this one is actually appealing to me and it's not hard to find an application of course because it's alphabetized and has a useful search function. Now going back to the home screen, if you hold the very top bar right under the status bar, you get the ability to change your main home screen as well as gain access to your wallpaper, system settings, feedback, and the launcher settings. This launcher does have a good way to go, like the ability to organize your home screen, a huge thing missing right off the bat, but it is usable and I like it so far. So I will be using it for the time being and await the missing features. Links to my social media as well as the download for the launcher APK will be in the description. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to, it's totally your choice, and I'll see you guys later.